Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn that how to create a login page in ASP.NET using C Sharp. So first of all, open a Visual Studio, then go to File, New Website. Now select a Visual C Sharp from Install Templates and select Empty Website. Now name your website. For example, Login Page. In the Solution Explorer, right click on the website name, then select Add, Add New Item. After that, again select Visual C Sharp from Install Templates and select Web Form. Now, here we have to first design our login page and then we can do a coding. To design a web page, we have to insert a table. So here I am going to insert two number of rows and three number of columns. Now the first field is username and the second one is password. Now insert a text box control. Text box 1 for username and text box 2 for password. You can also format this login page as you want. After that insert a button, name the button as login. After finishing the design, let's create a database. You can also create a link for a forget password. So insert here a hyperlink control, name that control as for example forget password. and link this hyperlink control to change password page. Now create a database. Go to Microsoft Access Database 2010. Now select a blank database and then name your database and select location.
now go to create menu and then table design after that create two fields one is a username with data type text and the other one is password with data type text now save the table as login insert some rec uh, insert a record for example username abc and password is 1 2 3 save the table and close it open the visual studio then double click on the button or right click and select view code after that a new page is created that is default.aspx.cs here you have to add two namespace one is a using system.data and the other one is using system.data.oledb on the button control first create a connection object so here write down oledb connection con is equal to new oledb connection here we have to give the path of our database in double quotation open the connection and then create a command object so write down oledb command cmd is equal to new oledb command Write down the command as select star from table name. Our table name is login. So select star from login. Where username is equal to at the rate username and password is equal to at the rate password. comma connection cmd dot parameters dot add with value first field is username so write down in double quotation as at the rate username and the username is entered in text box one so write down text box one dot text and the second one the same as username cmd dot parameters dot add with value at the rate password comma text box two dot text Now create a OLEDB data adapter object. OLEDB data adapter DA is equal to new OLEDB data adapter. In the bracket CMD. Now create a data table object. Write down data table DT is equal to new data table. Then DA dot fill DT. If dt dot rows dot count greater than zero, response dot redirect in the double quotation, you have to give the address of the web page after you have successfully submitting the username and password else
if the username and password is correct then we redirect to the page which is given in the if block otherwise we will go to the else part here write down on in the else part as invalid username and password Now give the path of your database, go to the server explorer, first join the database, create a database connection then right click add connection, after that select a data source that is a Microsoft Access database file and then select your database that is stored in the desktop with the name student database. And click on the test connection and OK. After that select the database, right click, go to properties and select the whole string, whole path of your database and then copy it to a database connection object. After the successful completion of a username and password, we re redirect to another page so create another page again go to solution explorer then right click on your website and create a new web form for example that web form is default to dot aspx we rename that web form as main dot aspx so this is a main page and give the path of the page to your response dot redirect function you can also add a change password To add a change password go to the hyperlink control properties and then here add a new property that is a navigate URL. Now run your program. Insert the username and password. The username is given as ABC and the password as 123. So this is the correct username and password then click on the login button then we redirect to a main page. Now if we enter an incorrect password then it will show an error message as invalid username and password. If we click on forget password then we will redirect to a change password.aspx page. So this is a simple login page in ASP.NET using C-Sharp.